Okay, in the demo today, we're going to be focusing on a specific use case, passport application processing. I'll be taking on a couple of different personas throughout the demo. I'll start as Ellie, our Department of State employee, who works on a queue of new passport applications. We'll look at how Ellie works with Bill, our analyst, in DiscoveryBot, how they work together in DiscoveryBot to find automation potential in this use case, and also accelerate the time to deployment. So shortening the time it takes to do, to roll this out into production. This is what our customers tell us helps them scale, better scale their automation programs throughout their groups, teams, departments, and so on. And then we're going to fast forward to the future state where Ellie is working with Ari, her digital assistant that helps her marshal and streamline the process, working with very advanced intelligent automation capabilities, RPA digital workers, IQBot with OCR and ML models, third-party integrations, and even advanced analytics. And all of this comes together and is unified in our A360 cloud native platform. So with that, let me jump into the software. And we're going to start it as Ellie, as I mentioned. Now, I have batches of forms that I work with navigating through these different applicants that send in supporting documents, the main application form. I don't know the first thing necessarily about automation, but getting started with DiscoveryBot is quite straightforward. I just log in, navigate uh, to the process here where I've been invited to submit a recording of what I do You know, when as I navigate these passport applications, click start recording, and now this is kicking off the DiscoveryBot recorder on my machine. So I'll just orient myself here. We'll get out of the slide deck and open up my application forms that the user has submitted along with our web portal here on the right. This is where we're gonna be transferring data, You know, looking at the form that was submitted, entering in manually a lot of data around their personal information, validating the authenticity of their proof of citizenship and so on and so forth. So this, the discovery bot recorder kicks off and if you notice the red box, this might look familiar. This is our universal recording technology. Universal in its application to record apps, but also in its use across the platform, okay? So this works to record against Java apps, Windows, legacy apps. It's also the same recording technology used in our RPA workspace. So I would just open up our application form, review some data, and start entering it in over here on the right in the app in the uh, web portal. So navigating the different form fields and text boxes, you know, I won't belabor this point. I think you get the idea. We're gonna be going through all the iterations of steps here is to, to validate the forms and enter in the data. Now, when I stop the recording, DiscoveryBot is compiling all the keystrokes, mouse clicks, and page navigations that our universal recorder picked up and it's gonna send it to our cloud control room here. This is where we have the ability now to start our analysis and identify automation opportunities. So I'm gonna switch hats over to Bill, our business analyst or automation analyst. Let's log in right here. Now I have to log in and log out a few times throughout the demo, a little cumbersome, but really there's a purpose in that every user has a very specific permission set controlled by role-based access control in the platform. We also, as you noticed, I just do a standard login here, but we also integrate with uh, CACPIV smart card readers for 2FA, which is very uh, prevalent amongst our government customers. So as Bill, my goal is to, as quickly as possible, understand where I should be applying automation in this use case of uh, processing passport applications. So DiscoveryBot accelerates that and helps me do that more effectively by prioritizing this set of opportunities. Some of these are generated automatically, others are created by me through initial analysis. Now, opening up one of these as an example, we see a set of aggregated recordings submitted by multiple different business users. Now, three key takeaways as we drill into this, each individual step, we can see very granular and detailed information about what the user was doing, where they were clicking, what data they were operating with. Taking a step back at the macro view, we have a linear set of steps here across four, multiple different business users, right? This is a data-driven objective representation of what these business users were doing. And this straight path without any deviation presents itself as a great opportunity for automation. Now, further down, we don't just capture these straight path steps. We also capture the deviations, the decision points. So right here where some users were handling a photo exception 
and the photo didn't meet certain requirements, they had to send an inquiry out to that candidate. Others were straight through processing and approving the candidate application, sending out the passport book. Now, this visual representation in our platform native to the A360 environment is great, but we also have the ability to export this to a Word document. So in having our business users record every step, we have auto-documented, and we have all of these steps represented and documented in a nice predetermined format that I can show you right here. So all of the steps, the notes, the screenshots, the contextual data around each step of what these users were doing is captured automatically. Great input to the development team that would roll this out and also could be used as a training manual for other business users trying to learn the process and how it's executed. Now there's one more area that we hadn't explored yet. And that's this blue button up here on the top right. This is the perfect example of the unified nature of our platform. The same recording technology used throughout, meaning I can hit with a few clicks here, convert this to a bot, just navigating to a folder that is going to take each and every one of these steps that has been recorded and translate it over to a native bot action in a bot file. So this is going to generate now a, a ready bot that will have all of these actions translated over. And we can prove that, we can see it with this bot that I've just generated right here. So this is huge. In a matter of clicks and in just a few seconds, we took Ellie's basic recording and have generated bot steps that captured exactly what the business user was doing as they were navigating through that application. Okay, now we're gonna fast forward to the future of getting work done. So let me navigate out of here and log out. Now, over the last few years, we've really asked ourselves, how can we bring powerful, intelligent automation capabilities to the fingertips of any business user? And the answer to that question is Ari. It's a digital assistant that marshals powerful technology, RPA digital workers, OCR, machine learning models, everything native to our platform, and stitching it together in a seamless digital experience that improves process execution, speed, accuracy, compliance, and ultimately morale and, and, uh, and, and work satisfaction for, for Ellie and Bill. Now, I'm gonna stay in use case here. I'm back in role as Ellie, an employee working through the passport applications, but this time I have a digital assistant working with me. And this digital assistant is gonna be working through a bit of a better structure this time, a queue of applications incoming right here. So I have one in queue right now, and we're gonna see in just a moment that application, there it is, just populating as our digital worker is kicked off and started working through that queue. Now, in a few seconds, we're gonna see something even more interesting here in our task inbox. If I refresh this, I'm gonna see, there we are, a new task has been created for me by my digital assistant, effectively tapping me on the shoulder, asking for some help, asking for assistance as it's encountered a certain situation in the process. Opening this up, over here on the left, we have an audit log of the steps that have been taking place. Our, our digital worker first went and classified the documents. As it unzipped the folder, it looked, it applied a, 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 an intelligent classifier, capturing what documents were submitted and their completeness for the application. So our digital worker saw the main application form, the driver's license, but was confused by the lack of a US birth certificate and citizenship certificate. Ellie, as the SME, I understand that if they've submitted their naturalization certificate and foreign birth, then these are okay to proceed. So I'm gonna continue processing and now I've passed the baton again to our digital worker, having it go and send this the applicant form to our IQBot standard forms capability to extract the specific form fields that we need to review and validate with a human. So here our digital worker presents the document here on the, on the right and the form fields that we asked it to extract, name, date of birth, ID number, and date of issue. Now, most of these look good if we validate here on the right, but the country came through with an E instead of a C. The, here with handwriting, great opportunity to include a human in the loop. However, this is also 
a potential area where we could increase straight through processing by sending this data to a third party service like a Google NLP service that has the geographical context to understand this should be a country and autocorrect that E to a C. We can really bring in very advanced intelligent automation capabilities, keeping the experience and the connectivity seamless and consistent for our business users like Ellie. So I'll submit this correction, move on, and now we're gonna go through two more quick validation steps where the, the bot will extract out the photo and present that to us for review and then the signature. So our photo presented here shows us, and just wait one more second, it should come up. Here we are, our photo presented shows us, you know, that the size requirements are a little off. You know, it's a little grainy, maybe it doesn't meet the quality requirement for a passport. We'll say this doesn't meet the requirement, reject this out and continue on. Now, this is gonna automate the candidate inquiry, sending a, the email and updating the system and the application status in our web portal. We'll fast forward in time and assume that the applicant is now responded with a new photo. And let me just get to the correct picture. There it is. There's the new photo. We'll open this up and in, in context here, be able to upload that for Ari to take forward. Our last step is validating the signature. We'll assign this and say, yes, we've confirmed, approve and close out this request for this application. So what we saw was that a previously tedious process that was very manual oriented, sorting through documents, manually entering data from one place to another and sending inquiries to our candidates was transformed into a streamlined journey where we pair humans working alongside digital assistants, marshalling RPA, artificial intelligence, machine learning models, bringing it all together in ARI and seeing our audit log here on the left of what each party did, where they contributed, allowing Ellie to do what she does best, injecting critical thinking and decision-making and allowing our digital worker to do all the heavy lifting and rogue tasks. Now, last but not least, we can see what story our digital workforce has to tell us about their performance and their impact on this process. So one more time, going over here and logging in, we'll open up our Bot Insight dashboard. Let's search for the right, there it is. Our digital workforce can essentially capture and report on any digital piece of information that it touches sending that up in real time to a visualization engine that we call Bot Insight. So a dashboarding section here where I can see both the effectiveness of the digital workforce and how efficient my bots are running, but also the business metrics that I care about. Having those bots report on those for me automatically, showing you know in this passport application use case, our rework rate, our error rate, application acceptance rate, our volume, slice and dice or drill down across geography, different agents and track over time. So we saw, just to summarize uh, the whole use case and demonstration here, we saw how Ellie started her journey with a simple recording and discovery bot, helping to find the opportunity to automate and generate the initial bot automatically. And then we saw the transformation, right? The fast forward to the future, harnessing powerful intelligent automation capabilities, all marshaled by Ari, the connectivity, the experience layer getting the job done more quickly and accurately and making Ellie's job more efficient and enjoyable. Thanks for watching the demo and uh, please reach out to us for any questions.